Joseph writes, a primer of the Gothic language, with grammar, notes, and glossary, is a seminal work that delves into the intricacies of the Gothic language, providing readers with a comprehensive understanding of its grammar, accompanied by insightful notes and a useful glossary. Published in 1862, this work stands as a valuable resource for scholars and enthusiasts interested in the study of ancient Germanic languages. Wright begins by introducing the Gothic language, emphasizing its historical significance as the earliest attested Germanic language. The author's choice to focus on Gothic is noteworthy, as it allows readers to explore the linguistic roots of the broader Germanic family. Wright's meticulous approach to grammar serves as the foundation of the primer, enabling readers to grasp the fundamental structures of Gothic. The primer's grammatical section is characterized by its systematic organization, starting with an overview of the alphabet and pronunciation. Wright takes care to elucidate the distinctive sounds of Gothic, a crucial aspect for learners unfamiliar with the language. The phonological intricacies are accompanied by clear examples, aiding readers in mastering the correct articulation of Gothic words. Wright then progresses to the essential components of Gothic grammar, covering nouns, pronouns, adjectives, and verbs. The author's lucid explanations and numerous examples facilitate a nuanced understanding of the language's syntactic structures. The grammar section serves as a gateway for readers to delve into more complex linguistic analyses, offering a solid framework for the exploration of Gothic literature and historical texts. Interwoven with the grammatical exposition are Wright's insightful notes, which provide context and illuminate the cultural and historical background of the Gothic language. These annotations enhance the reader's comprehension by linking linguistic features to the broader socio-cultural milieu in which Gothic was used. Wright's erudition is evident as he draws connections between language and culture, enriching the reader's experience and fostering a holistic understanding of Gothic. The glossary included in the primer is a valuable tool for readers seeking to expand their vocabulary in the Gothic language. Organized alphabetically, the glossary encompasses a wide array of words, ranging from everyday terms to more specialized vocabulary. Each entry is accompanied by a concise definition, aiding learners in grasping the nuances of Gothic semantics. This compilation serves as a handy reference for those navigating original Gothic texts, enabling them to decipher meaning and appreciate the linguistic richness of the language. Wright's approach to the primer reflects a dedication to linguistic scholarship, evident in his meticulous attention to detail and comprehensive coverage of Gothic grammar. The author's proficiency in philology is apparent throughout the work, as he navigates the intricacies of a language with limited extant sources. His meticulous analysis of Gothic exemplifies the importance of such studies in reconstructing linguistic lineages and understanding the evolution of languages within the Germanic family. In conclusion, Joseph writes, a primer of the Gothic language, with grammar, notes, and glossary, stands as a seminal contribution to the study of Gothic. Through a systematic exploration of grammar, insightful notes, and a comprehensive glossary, Wright provides readers with a valuable resource for delving into the intricacies of this ancient Germanic language. The primer not only serves as a practical guide for learning Gothic but also illuminates the historical and cultural contexts that shaped the language. As a foundational work in the field of Germanic philology, Wright's primer continues to be an indispensable tool for scholars and enthusiasts alike, fostering a deeper appreciation for the linguistic heritage of the Gothic people.